Hi, did you quit Studio One because you didn't want to use the piano roll like this? Yeah, I would have quit Studio One if I had to use the piano roll like this too. What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also please, don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com, get yourself 500 free loops. Okay, do that first. And then, once you get a little sample, once you get a little hit, come back, buy some compositions, buy some MIDI packs, buy some MIDI drum kits, buy the drum kits get the 808s and get what you need to get started in production right now also please follow me on ig it's the quickest way to get a hold of me if you ever need to cuss me out um and also follow the spicy sundays podcast uh with me and mg the future streaming live every sunday on mg the future's youtube channel now today we're going to be looking at the transition from fl studio into studio one and how to make it a little bit more painless and um in the piano role i noticed that i got some conversation going about like man you know this is really cool and everything but it's just not the same as the um fl studio piano role because of the copy notes feature and when uh, when i went to use when i went to use fl studio the copy notes feature was actually something that really frustrated me right because i was so tapped into the workflow that i had built so what i realized was the workflow that I had built, I need to demonstrate. So let's take a look at it. What I do, right, in order to be in in order to be fast, like uh, like someone who uses FL Studio, is I have is I have my this um command here, which lets you which lets you um set the quantize, which changes the note lengths. I have that set to I have that set to my keyboard, right? So I can press one and get a and and get a a whole note. I can press two. And get a half note. I could press three, and get a and get a quarter, four, and get an eighth, five, and get a sixteenth. You know, and I, I hold down Command to use the pencil tool because that's the that's the fastest one click way. You keep Command held down, and you can go ahead and erase like you did on FL Studio, or you could just click and drag and do that right but the way that you get this set up is and the good news is is you only have to do this once right you only have to do it once so what you want to do is you want to go to preferences and you want to go to keyboard shortcuts and what you can do is you just select quant as you just type in quantize and what you're looking for what's going to come up is these quantize buttons right and all you do is right here you enter the key which you want to correspond with that shortcut and you could just assign it. And this is one of the best features about Studio One is the ability to customize your key commands because some key commands you don't need and some key commands haven't been set up yet and they're the most powerful key commands um, in the DAW, right? So once I have, you know, so once I have these set up, it is, you know, very easy for me now to go ahead and, you know, start, start writing, um, uh, different chord progressions and things like that. The the downfall of this that you guys will notice coming over coming for over from FL Studio and this is where you'll just need to adjust your mindset a little bit. But now that you know it, you can you can anticipate it. Is if you if you set up to for example, I I notice like when I see FL Studio people work is they'll write a chord progression like this. They you know they have something like this going on. And then they'll want to put like this same length note right here in studio one. Currently you can't do that. What you would have to do is you would have to switch, switch your note length to, you know, to one half to get there. If you wanted to get here, you'd have to switch it to one four, which that's why putting the key commands in makes it super simple. Um, also some, some quick, uh, some quick tips, like you guys is randomized feature. What that is called in, in studio one is called humanize. You go ahead and click this and you can change the, the velocity range. 
in which in, in which your velocity will you know randomize and you can also click the note start range which will make this um which will make this like kind of quantize off the grid that's another um awesome technique that we have and i uh i, I use it i use it on every melody that i draw the key command i've set up is h right so super simple on that the the other one that you're going to want to know is this function called split it grid and split it grid will basically what it what it allows you to do is it allows you to make two step hi hats really quick so the way that i'll do hi hats is i'll just grab a bar pencil tool drag it out right and then i hit my split it grid command boom that's 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 a two step hi hat right if i want to if i want to be able to change the velocity so that this doesn't sound like a stiff mess i have a i have a macro um key command that is just set to select every other note i drag these down and now i've got you know off off, off rip out the gate it's a you know it's a bouncy realistic hi hat and again it's just as simple as I mean, you, that's the, that's the fastest, <laughs> that's the fastest though. We can do that faster. Right. And then when it comes to, and then when it comes time for like making hi-hat rolls, being able, being able to switch in between, um, these, these different note values and go and go through the hi-hats and just, and, and just chop them without having to pull up a menu and, um, and, and, and switch in between different note values. Right super simple i'm just boom 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 All right so let me show you the key commands for those briefly um if we go back you're gonna want to tie a key command to split it grid right and again you just do that one um but for the one that that selected every other note you want to Look for select notes off beat, right? And then that's it. So those are so, so those are th those are the key commands, which is going to make your which is going to make your piano roll get right there. It's going to be right there with FL Studio. Um, and so if you're one of these people that enjoy like the chord track or the or you know the Melodyne integration or the uh, you know the different music theory hacks that are inside Studio One, and you're frustrated with your piano roll, just lock in with these steps. Uh, allow yourself to build some muscle memory with your keyboard. Like I'm telling you, give you give it give it two weeks, and you're gonna really like this workflow. So this is CMP with Craft Master Productions, Studio One Tutorials.com. Yes, keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.